Uh, I'm gonna be attempting to remove this wrap on my trailer. Like I said, it was done about a year ago, so it's been sitting in storage uh, most of the time when I'm not using it. And so it's been not on there for too long. I've heard most wraps last for three to five years, so I'm hoping it's not too baked on. I did actually start it last night, and I'll show you the back section and how it's going. And I'll let you know how it goes and what, uh, what works and what doesn't. I'm gonna try not to have to buy a heat gun because I don't like buying single use items that I probably won't ever use again. Uh, my fiance is letting me use her hair dryer, so we're gonna see if that'll get it hot enough. It's about 11.30, probably 60 degrees out. Um, and so I've had it in the sun to just kind of start warming up. As I've heard, that helps. Um, when, it, when the vinyl or the wrap is warmer, it's a little bit easier to pull off. But I'll probably will supplement with using the hottest setting on the uh, hair dryer. So let's see how it goes. Alright guys, one other thing. I did go to Home Depot today and I picked up a little scraper set. This is actually the smallest one. There's a two, four, and six inch. Um, that's it right there. And it was only like three bucks to get these three tools. So you want to use something that's not metal so you don't scratch the uh, paint. Right, guys well there you have it hair dryer does work it definitely uh, seems to help to have more heat um, when I wasn't heating an area it seems like it was a little bit more resistant to pull and so I would definitely recommend at least using something like a hair dryer a heat gun probably would work better I think they're like 17 bucks at Harbor Freight but if you don't want to go ahead and buy one and you've already got a hair dryer uh, yeah something like this should work so good luck with your wrap I'll show you a little time lapse. guys one thing I will say your hands are gonna get really dried out from touching the adhesive uh, my hands are they're definitely not bleeding and they'll be all right they're just cracking a little bit off these a lot of lotion but um, taking a wrap off does take a lot of work um, and time this side being that it's colder it's not in the Sun unfortunately and I can't just flip the trailer around it's a lot longer or a lot harder to do so I definitely believe that doing it on a warmer day would be easier uh, but it's February right now so it is what it is I am using with the, the blow dryer to supplement with some heat a heat gun probably would be better but I don't like to buy things that I'll only ever use one time so I just feel like it's kind of wasteful of money and resources but regardless uh, heat does help and just be patient all right
right guys, it's the next day. I've uh, gotten all the wrap off. I was able to rearrange my trailer and park it so it got sun on this side and it made pulling it off a little bit easier um, for the heat. So now I'm gonna show you the final step of what I'm doing to take off the little bits of adhesive. And all you do is get a rag and a little bit of gas and pour it on the rag and then you start wiping it away. Um, and then what I'm doing is I'm taking a little bit of soap and water after and going over that um, just to kind of clean the area after I've done the gas rag and gotten the adhesive off. So I'll show you what I'm doing. Seems to be working pretty good. So I don't know if you can see, but there are lines here and then little spots of adhesive like this guy right here. So we're going to see if we can get this off. All right guys, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my rag here, put a little bit of gas on it, just like that, and then you know, I'm going to start wiping it, and just like that, that adhesive is gone. All right, so here's the final product. Never have removed a wrap before, but luckily the uh, panels of the trailer are smooth and it came off pretty good. The uh, gasoline on the rag method really worked to get the last bit of adhesives off, but uh, as you can see, it's pretty smooth. There's no lines here uh, in between where the panels were, and I'd say overall it turned out pretty good.